Hey folks, uh, what I want to talk to you about right now is how to use a library that's not built in with the uh, Arduino IDE. Your, your, your board has a built-in uh, a built-in chip. It's the um, LSM9DS1, which is like kind of a total nonsense name for human purposes but the long and short of it is is that it's got um it's got three sensors and each of those three sensors has an x a y and a z that you can read one of the sensors is uh an accelerometer this measures a change of acceleration on the sensor so this can be used to measure the tilt of the sensor respect to you know with respect to the earth's center of gravity uh or maybe like measure like the force of a hit um, it's, you'll find it in like mobile devices, your phone has one, they're in cars, they were the, they were the things that were inside of like Wii remotes. Um, they, this also has a gyroscope inside, and that's something that can measure the change in angular motion, so you can measure rotation with that. Uh, and then the other sensor that's on here is a, essentially a compass, a magnometer. So that measures a magnetic force on a sensor. So you can measure the Earth's magnetic field um, in order to determine like a compass heading. So, uh, you know, these are all really interesting things that you just have built in and ready to be accessed, but they aren't, um, they aren't sort of like out of the box sort of things, even though they're on the board you need to download a library. And so we looked at the, um, we looked at how you could just use the, the servo library straight away. This one, you need to go through one extra step before you can use that library. So uh, what you should do is um, copy down uh, this string here. And you can see there's actually um, the, the library that, that, that they have has, uh, has a couple different names. That's because other chips have the same sensor, but without the compass on board. Uh, they all kind of, the, the, this, this general name works here. So if you were to um, go to your, if you were to take part of this string even, right? And you went into the Arduino IDE, you can go under sketch. And then here where you would say include library. So if you were to going to, download a library, if you're gonna include like the, the servo libraries we saw in that other series of videos. Um, there's a link up here that's a, a, a selection here for manage libraries. That's similar to the board manager that you use to download the board definitions for, the, for, your, uh, for your chip when we first started. So uh, all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna type in uh, LSM9, uh, and then we can see here, it, it automatically populates some of this stuff. So we can see LSM9DS1 allows you to read the accelerometer, magnometer, and gyroscope values from the IMU on your Twino Nano 33BLE sense. It's great. That's kind of what we want. So um, I'm going to click on install. And it takes just a moment to download and install. Uh, once we've done that, we can close this. You can see it says installed. Awesome. And now here under the file menu, we can go to file examples and we'll see uh, here it says examples for any board and we can click on this. We can see simple accelerometer, simple gyroscope, simple magnometer. Uh, I'm going to click on the accelerometer example and it opened in my other screen. Here it is. Uh, so this example reads the acceleration values from the sensor and continuously prints them to the serial monitor. So uh, here we can see we're including the library uh, and in the outset, uh, what we've got is something for uh, serial communication and we say, you know, while there's no serial communication, don't do anything. Then here, uh, once there's serial connected, we print out started. And then we check to make sure if we can actually talk to and communicate with the board. So this, um, 
this thing here where it says uh, if if we can't essentially what this line is saying is if we can't start the communication with the chip then there's a problem uh, and report that out here it prints out the if there so and, and then it just stops the sketch if there's no problem then keep on moving on uh, so here it says it'll print out the sample rate so how frequently it's uh, it's reading the values off of this uh, and then it'll just print stuff out for us now inside of the loop uh, we've got it's really straightforward we've got a local variable x y and z and inside of here we've got an if statement saying if acceleration is available so this is a function that basically checks to make sure that something's actually there uh, oops, sorry um, and if something is actually there and available then we can read the values and we take so IMU read acceleration takes three arguments X Y and Z uh, and then it just you know those just get stored into these variables we call this you know we could call this a X a Y a Z whatever you want um, you just need to pass those into here and then it'll then we use the serial monitor to print them out so I'm gonna upload this to my board uh, it's going to take a second to compile and stick it on there. Uh, and, you know, we'll see in a second uh, how this thing all works out, right? So, um, up uploading, uh, and we'll give it just a moment. It's done. That's great. So, uh, I'm going to just click on the serial monitor here. And we'll give it a second to start communication. Uh, I think I need to press reset here. We'll give it a second. Cool. Uh, so here we can see this is the X, Y, and Z values of the accelerometer. Uh, so uh, here we can, so it's going to give us a value between 0, 1, and negative 1. So we can see right here it's motionless. It's kind of lying flat, right? Uh, and if I pick this up and I tilt it on its side, we can see the Y value has changed, that middle one. The X value is the same, right? And the Z has changed as well. That's because, again, it's the relationship of these three axes due to gravity, right? If I tilt it this way, we should see them all move in the opposite direction. If I tilt it up like this, we can see that x change. We can see x go to negative here, right? So here we can start to see how these all relate to gravity. Uh, the So that's the accelerometer. In the examples, there's also one for the gyroscope. Uh, functions in pretty much the exact same way. I'm going to upload this. Uh, and you can see it's got something IMU begin, uh, and then we print out the sample rate for the gyroscope, uh, and then we just ask if the gyroscope information is available. Passes in X, Y, Z, print them out. Really straightforward. Uh, so let me pull up the uh, serial monitor again. We'll give the sex a moment, and here we go. So now we can see uh, this as I rotate this, we can see those values change, right? And then they settle again. So this is measuring like how much rotation is, and it's going by super, super quick, right? Um, the, the thing that's like easiest to get out of the box is the accelerometer readings. Um, the gyroscope and the compass are a little bit more difficult to, to use and manage, but there is a library that actually helps us uh, manage that information. And in the next video, I'll show you how you can use that uh, to get a little bit clearer information out of the board. But uh, hopefully this is uh, helpful and something that you can use in your own projects. Again, accelerometer, probably the most useful thing that you can use. Um, but experiment with all of them. See what you like.